So in this video, we're going to be starting our work with stores. We're going to be starting our work with stores and um, we're going to be looking at how to create a store and how to display store items, even mutate our store a little bit. Then we would also be looking at how to bring in a store from a different file. I've created a uh, new page called store demo. Store demo.gsx is in my pages folder here. And uh, I've also added it to my routes. So just slash store demo is loaded here. Uh, yeah, so that's all good. Now let us create a store. Let's create a store in solid. Now to create a new store, we're going to need the create store function, the create store function. And that can be found in a special package within the SolidJS library. Say from SolidJS forward slash store. Yep. From solid-js for slash store. That's where we get the object that we're going to need to create our store. And it's going to be the create store function. Get a create store function. So we have that. Now we can use it to create our store. So how do we create a store? Let's come up here. We'll say const. And just like a signal, we call the create store function create, create, we call the create store function and we give it the initial state of our store we pass it the initial state of our store which is, which can either be an object or an array from from solid 1.4.0 you can now use an array as a top level item in a store but we're going to start with an object we'll start with an object so we have an object which represents the initial state of our store and, I'm, and for now, I'm going to be adding two properties. First is good old count. Count, let's say that is zero. And I'm also going to be adding a user object. Go to add a user object and I'll set that to, yeah, add a profile property. And in the profile, like I have name. Name will be John Doe. And let's also have age and say 50. 50. So yeah, I have count, which is a primitive numeric value of zero and user, which is an object and has a, an inner object of profile with two properties, name and age. So that's the initial state of my store. Now create store, just like create signal, also returns a getter object. Let's call that um, our app store. You can call it anything you want. So I'm just going to call it app store. And also a setter function, which we can call set app store. App store and set app store. So just it, it does a tuple, just like a uh, create signal, but this is an object because it represents this object. Or rather, it represents the state. And you also have the setter, which you can use to mutate the state. So that's how you create your store. We have created a store. Cool. That's how you create a store. There's no other thing to it. This is how you create a store in SolidJS. Now let's try and use a value within our store. Let's use a value within our store. So to use a value within the store, you can come down here and say P bold, curly braces, and let's say we want to display the count. I want to display the count. So we can just say store dot count store.count no not store demo <laughs> store oh i don't know it's app store rather sorry app store.count that's this app store app store.count now you all like signals you don't do this no don't do that nah nah you don't need that so app store.count and that, that's how you use the value within your store that's how you use the value within your store now let us check out our browser to see how this is displayed save this and now we are in our browser, as you can see, we have zero. Yep, we have zero displayed here. That's, that's the current value of our account. That's the current value of our account. So that's how you create a store and we've been able to uh, display the value, a value from our store. Solid makes it simple and straightforward. Now, what if we want to import this store from a separate file? We want our store to be in a file. I want to import it from that file. Let's, let's see how we can do that. So back here in VS Code, we're simply going to do this. First, we'll uh, come out of here. 
let's create a new folder and call that folder stores so that was all our stores so stores and i'm going to create a new file there and say app store.jsx app store.jsx so that's good let me close this routes folder uh, routes file rather then open store demo and i'm going to copy this and cut it out so i'm going to cut this out i like everything and cut it out i'm going to app store say export default and just paste this export default then i think we need to remove yeah we need to remove this so export default and we just export our store so we have our store exported so back in the store demo file we can now import let's just call it store import store from say stores app store then let's extract our tuple say const app store set app store equal to store so we get those two now we can save this and go into our browser to check it out now back in our browser let's refresh our store demo page and here we get create store is not defined create store is not defined we are we are forgetting an import so let's go back to our vs code and then in vs code um let's copy this store create store import from here save it and bring it into here yeah that's what we forgot bring it into here so let's save these two files now let's go back into our browser and check this out so here in our browser let's refresh the page and everything comes back good yeah everything comes back good start demos and we have our account variable we have our account variable now we've been able to import the store from a separate file and still have the functionality working perfectly so yeah that's how you create a store and that's how you import it from a separate file in the next video we're going to be looking at how to mutate store with store setters here we've seen how to create a store and how to display the value within a store but in the next video we're going to be changing values inside our store using store setters